forward, neck bringing over, inside leg, release and just stay in first. Turn the shin, short my reins. Oh, you can tell this is his better direction because he's just carrying himself so much better. Outside hand. Forward a little bit, inside leg, turn my shin. Equal hands. If anything, my outside hand should be back, hiding over there, you know? Inside leg, inside leg. That was an opening outside rain, now my hands are doing nothing. One, one out of ten pressure in my legs. Turn my chin, inside leg. Squeeze my inside finger a little bit just to turn his nose. Back to walk. Good boy. Normally I like to pat with my inside hand because you shouldn't, you should keep that constant contact with your outside ring. But, whatever. And now we're just gonna go over these. The tiniest little cavalettis ever. These are not jumps. We're just gonna drop them. Outside ring, leave them alone. Turn my chin. So when I say I turn my chin, it's so my shoulders don't turn, so you want to be able to go like this and keep your shoulders with your horse. So you turn your chin to look, as soon as you turn your shoulders, their shoulders will turn, like matching principle. And then you might leave the trap a little earlier. So you want to keep your weight aid, your shoulders with his shoulders, my hips with his hips. Walk. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. You're okay. Sorry, buddy. I thought he was getting balky. So babies, if they need to stop and poop, so be it. Turn my eye. My hands in a better position. Inside fingers closed. Opening inside fingers. Close my outside fingers, inside fingers, closed. So it's kind of like milking the cow, so if my inside finger is closed, my outside finger is open, and then when I'm traveling off straight away, my fingers are neutral. So they find kind of half open, half closed. So if I want to go half out, I close them all the way. If I want to turn, like I'm going in this direction. If I wanted to turn to the right, I would close my inside fingers and open my outside fingers. And now here, if I want to turn, close my left fingers, open my right fingers, turn my chin to look, close my right fingers, open my left fingers. It's like, but I do them equal opposite. Close my left fingers, open my right fingers. And then right here, I'm just gonna put my fingers to neutral and then I'm just drop them straight. So that's how you steer with your fingertips. So neutral fingers, inside leg, inside leg, inside leg. Chin looking in the direction, I'm keeping my shoulders with the horse. Inside leg, eyes up looking forward. All right, I'm gonna trot that green pole over there. That's the goal of the baby, light seat. So on horses, I can get 
lazy. You can get a little heavier in your seat without even meaning to. So you're trying to use your legs to go forward. Turn my chin to look. Start the turn. Finish the turn. Leg. Good boy! Oh, left leg. And left leg now. Good boy! And we go to that white flowers, left green. Right green. Turn my chin. Keep my hands equal and straight. Left green. Right rein, equal hands, inside my forward a little. That's okay. Left rein, left rein, left rein. Sorry, I'm saying left rein, but I'm actually not doing left rein. I meant right leg. Right leg. Good boy. See how little you wonder where his legs are there. Inside leg. I'm going to go to that little flower box, that natural flower box in a second. Can you believe how good he's going with this door open? Yeah. Like, there's horses just outside that door, and he's like, whatever. This, the only time he ever really lights up is when he sees a new mare. But he'll, he'll learn to ignore that. Inside fingers, release them. Okay, he's not going to do very much more. So I will give that flower box. And then finally, that green somehow. Neck green out, turn my chin. Look for my straight line. Inside finger, straight, equal hands, equal hands, equal hands, eyes up. Leg, leg, leg. You're okay. Oh, wow. Do you know what? He might be internalizing a little bit. So that's his third time pooping. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. So like, he's not showing me outwardly that a lot's going on. He's actually being such a well behaving boy. I'm gonna start paying attention to that because that was a pretty, it's a pretty um, liquidy poo. So I'm just going to make the question easier. One last question and then he's done. Is he normally... I don't even know if he poops at all whenever I ride. Maybe that door is worrying him a little bit and he's just keeping it inside. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy! reassurance and some love. So they might not necessarily speak English, but they definitely speak vibe. And I love, love emotion. Good boy. Okay, I'm just gonna go to that crosser one last time and then he is definitely done. I don't even care if he walks in. Good boy, yeah. Good boy, nice light trot. Not a big trot, just a chilled out one. What a good boy you are. What a good boy. Turn my chin. Start the turn. Squeeze my leg a little. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Good, good, good. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to end on a little trot here. So does it end on a balky moment? Nice long rain. Good oh boy. Now you're done. Gentle in my seat as we come down. And now he's done. Good oh boy. And he'll get it eventually. 